Hey everyone, it's Nate here, and I wanted to give you a video that would help you work on your power chords. Power chords are the bread and butter slash go-to thing for guitar players, especially rock guitar players. Most of these songs are rock. So there are seven songs for you to check out to work on your power chords. I have the tabs for you, so rely on those mostly to be able to play through these songs. Just, you don't play through the whole song. It's most of the songs are a good chunk of them that you can get through playing power chords. But if you don't know what a power chord is, let's just start off by going over that. A power chord is just a chord or a triad without the third in it. So you only have the root and the fifth. Some people call these five chords. That's why, just because you have the root and the fifth. So for example, if you have a G power chord, you can have a G, the root note, and the fifth, a D note, G, A, B, C, D. So just keep that in mind. Now, there are two basic shapes that you want to think about for playing power chords. And your root is always going to be the lowest note, whether it's on the E or the A string for this video. So your index finger, grab a root note on the low E string anywhere. Then go up two frets and over one string, grab that note there. With your third finger, you can do your pinky too on the fifth fret. And that's your basic power chord shape. You can also add an octave above that, another G note on top with your pinky there on the fifth fret the D string and you can play it that way or you can flatten your third finger out there to play a bar doesn't matter which way you choose the important thing is that you just know these shapes and know that the root note is where your index finger is you can move them all around the fretboard and then you can do the same thing on your A string you can move that power chord shape anywhere you want Beverly Hills by Weezer. It's an F power chord. Starts out that just hit it twice. One and rest. Then go to a B flat power chord. Two and three and one and two and three and four and one and three and four and then up to a C power chord and then you go to an E power chord. And that's the entire verse of the song. The chorus is very similar. Start off on the same thing. F twice rest. B flat. Then you move to a C instead of going back to an F. Then back to a B flat. And that's kind of the main progression for the, the course of the song. Now there's not much going on in the verse on this song, but I did go ahead and write out the tab for you because it's just bass. But who wants to lay out when you're jamming along to a song? Go ahead and play along to the verse. Next song, When You Were Young by The Killers, and it starts off on an E power chord. And you have one full measure, one and two and three and four and. And then you move to an F sharp power chord for three eighth notes, one and two. And then a G sharp power chord for the rest of that measure. And then you go to a B power chord for one measure. And then back to an E major, or <laughs> then back to an E power chord. No major, right? No major or minor because there's no third. So for one measure. And that's the main phrase for this entire song on the courses. Play it out strong on the verses. You can palm mute it. To bring it down. All right, Tub Thumpin' by Chumbawamba. The chorus to this song is really easy. It starts on a D. One and two and three and four. And, and then that's, you move to a G there. And that's the basic rhythm. One and two and three and four. And one, two and three and four. One and two and three and four. And then this time you go to an A. One, two, three, four. And that's the basic progression for the entire course. Now, if you're having trouble keeping up with these power chord locations, what I would recommend doing is setting aside a little bit of time in your daily practice routine to just memorize the names of the notes on the E and A strings. That'll help you be able to find these power chords a lot faster.
All right, Use Somebody by Kings of Leon starts off on a C power chord way up here. And I use like I like to use the three note version for this, but it's one full measure of C, but you have some accents on one and two and three and four and so to make it fit the style of the song. And then once you go to this part, just take your index finger off. And this isn't really a power chord, but it's part of the song. Take your index finger off of the E string, and then play those three strings again. And then move to an F chord, an F power chord. Same accents for two full measures here. And that's half of the main progression for this tune. After you play that twice, you're going to go to this. Go to an A power chord for one measure, same accents, then up to a C power chord, and then down to an F power chord for two measures. Do it again. Then hit that F, let it ring out, and that gets you into the first verse. Nineteen seventy nine by the Smashing Pumpkins. Uh, it's an E flat, and I'm pretty sure they down tune their guitar to E flat. So instead of being able to play a nice fat E power chord, E flat power chord down here, we're just going to play this version of E flat right here. So play that for two measures, eighth notes, and then you move to an A flat power chord, and that's your main progression. That A flat for, was for two measures too, and you do that the E flat to A flat three times before moving to an F power chord down here. One and two and three and four. And then move to a B flat on the and a four and hold that out through one and then finish the next measure off with and three and two and three and four. And. I'll play the whole thing for you just one time through the E flat, A flat, and then I'll go into the F, B flat. Next song, The Middle by Jimmy Eat World, and you have to palm mute a lot during this song, and the first power chord is a D, so play two measures of eight notes, palm muted on that, on that D, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, then move to an A power chord, same thing, two measures, palm muted, one and two and three, four, one and two and three, four, then go to a G power chord, same thing, two measures. And then back to a D and do two measures again. That's the main phrase for the verses. So the whole thing would be. When you get to the chorus of the song, the progression doesn't change, but you stop the palm muting and go to kind of an open chord strumming pattern like this. The first measure of the course, you lay out on beat one because it has that kind of accent. All the Small Things by Blink-182 starts off on a C power chord in just two measures of eighth notes there. And I use all down strokes just to make it a little more aggressive sounding. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Measure three moves to a G power chord and just plays that for one full measure with eighth notes. One and two and three and four and. 
Um, next measure plays a G power chord for just one eighth note and then moves up to an A power chord and but you palm mute these for four eighth notes. After that, slide down all the way to an F power chord and play it three times. So that whole phrase. And that's the intro to the song and get you to the verse, which is a little simpler, just a C power chord for one measure with eighth notes, palm muted. Then move to a G power chord, one measure, eighth notes, palm muted. And then F. One measure again, then back to a G. And that's pretty much the entire verse. You just repeat that. All right, last part is the chorus. And when you get to the chorus, just hit a C power chord and let it ring out for four measures. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then two measures of C, one measure of G, F. And then do that again. G. And at that point, you just go back into the intro. And those are the main parts of that song. So that's it for these songs. Download the tab, pick out your favorite ones, and work on moving your power chord shapes around, your downstroke strumming, your palm muting, all of those things. Power chords are super valuable to have under your belt. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite songs are to work on power chords, and I'll see you later.